Hi guys, today history lesson. During the By the Way era, Frusciante started using a new pedal, the MXR Microamp. The Microamp is simply a clean boost pedal, but today I'd like to show you how really Frusciante used it, because I see a lot of disinformation around. Basically, you should have noticed that Frusciante's tone in a live situation could be either super clean or super crunchy. This is for sure because of its picking technique, but it's also because of its micro amp. In fact, during the Californication era, when he didn't use uh, the MXR micro amp, his tone was more crunchy than later years, basically because he just based his crunch only on his hard attack on the strings. His clean tone was dirtier, but when he placed the microamp on his board, he gained the possibility of being either super clean or super dirty at the same time. So, what does the microamp do? Everyone would just answer that it boosts volume, and that's true, but only half true. Because used together with a valve amp, valve valve amp, I don't know how to pronounce it, it also crunches the amp, pushing the valves harder, basically. Some great examples uh, for showing this are songs like um, Can't Stop, Charlie, Tell My Baby, uh, Right On Time and then there are songs like Give It Away, Suck My Kiss, uh, etc. When he did use his microamp on, his setting was at half, 12 o'clock I believe. With this video, I also wanted to burst the false myth of the C1 crunching the tone for songs like Can't Stop and Suck My Kiss. Because basically, the C1 is not true bypass and it crunches the sound uh, both on or off. So, um, you really need the microamp in order to get that overdriven tone for songs like Give It Away, Suck My Kiss and the others. Anyway, let's hear some clips. Mm -hmm. 